Hey guys, it's Sensibility here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Amber Marie and as always, I welcome you to follow along on my perfume journey as I check out uh, niche and designer perfumes, also perfume oils, replica clones and sprays. We also have Atars and Bakuls. So you'll find a little bit of everything in the perfumery field on my channel. I don't just limit myself to just perfume reviews. So if that is totally up your alley, definitely click on the subscribe button. Today's video is going to be a video that I should have done a long freaking time ago. Um, I already showed one that I got and that one was a birthday fragrance. Now I've been working with this one for a hot minute and I can finally safely give you guys an honest review on it. Is it worth the price tag? These, this particular fragrance can, is selling as high as $410. Ouch. So here I am with my honest review. And I'm going to let you know, is this better to buy it in the bottle or just save your bucks and buy it in the perfume oil? So here we go, guys. It is the Erosia Dove elixir i think this one is pour femme now this particular one i got two of them and one of them was for the anniversary and the oceana was for my birthday because i'm born in september and it had the blue rhinestones on it now as most of you guys know this was a very luxurious splurge for us because my husband had lost his job this year since then, he has found a temporary job and is going to be going right back into his field once they are done with all this. Um, what is it called? Like, my husband's a trucker, so a lot of them have went on, like, strike. Not necessarily strike, but they're, it has something to do with Biden. I'm not going to get all into political stuff on my video channel, but it was a surprise to get these. Um... Because, of course, when you are living on a tight budget, what we had to do pretty much all year long, especially in the beginning, me working, finishing my master's, and then the loss of a job, and then now we're both working. It's I was surprised I even got this beauty. But here I am today. So, I typically, when I get a new fragrance in, I do a review on it pretty quickly. But this one, I have held back. And there is a reason for it. And I don't want to offend people when I give you my honest opinion on it. But here we go. So what is Elixir Pour Femme all about by Roja Dove? Again, this can cost you anywhere from $250 to $410. Ouch. This is an oriental floral. It has top notes of bergamot is its top notes, its middle notes is Rose de May, Raspberry, Violet, Peach, Heliotrope, Ylang Ylang, Geranium, Jasmine, Lily of the Valley. So obviously in the middle notes, there is tons of florals. Um, your dry down is Musk, Cashmere Wood, Oris, Vanilla, Violet Leaf, Ambretta, Sandalwood, Cedar, and Cinnamon. Of course, you're getting some of the more sensual notes at the end Again, it's also what kind of makes it oriental. Now, based off Frantica, the Accord. So this is kind of a better description of how all these fragrances play together. And it's going to start with the most dominant note down to the less dominant note. So this is considered a powdery, fruity, rose sweet, woody, floral, musky, violet, vanilla, yellow floral. So that's kind of how this fragrance is supposed to play out. Uh, and I really like this one because it was a pink bottle. Terrible. Now, this one doesn't come with all the, like, rhinestones and stuff on it, um, like the traditional Roja Dove goes. I did not get a box with this. This was purchased off of um, one of the Facebook perfume groups. You can see it has a couple little scratches on it. So, and they've obviously had it for a little while. But I can understand why they sold this. Okay, this is a beautiful fragrance. Absolutely beautiful. It's what I would expect from Roja Dove. Flat out. Smells so good. I honestly 
don't smell the powder in it. If it's there, it's a nice little touch. And again, it's supposed to be the most dominant note in this perfume. I don't think so. I feel like I get a fruity rose sweet smell. I really don't think it's overly floral at all. This, in my opinion, is a very soft fragrance. It's not what I expected. And it is the reason why I took so long to do this review because I was quite disappointed in how weak the fragrance is. For the price tag, this could have been made much, much stronger and it's a very skin scent. Um, and that is why I held off on doing this because I feel like for the price tag, you should really get a strong fragrance. And that is not how some of these high-end luxury niche companies are doing it. You know, it's like if it's a soft, soft scent, you're still paying $400 for it. If it's a strong scent, you're still paying $400 for it. My Oceana is much stronger than this one. So, I was very, very disappointed in that. But as far as the smell itself goes, it's very, very beautiful. It's a very feminine fragrance, and there's just that's the only way to describe it. It can be worn by all age categories because it is such a light scent. So at least, you know, I feel like this was a crowd pleaser type fragrance that he created an everyday type wear, but I don't think it's worth the price tag. So with that said, my recommendation is to go for the perfume oil. Um, I have not tried it yet, so I will end up getting it to do a comparison on this. Because honestly, I would love to have this much stronger. And then I would have felt like it was more worth the money. But in the state it is that it's being sold by Roja Dove, I don't recommend buying this for that price tag. To me, it reminds me of something you would get from a cheaper perfume. It's just one of those ones. You buy a $20 bottle of perfume and that's what this smells like. Um, and guys, not all $20 bottles of perfume smell bad. Like Jessica Simpson, she has exceptional Fancy Fancy Love or two of my favorite ones. And they are stronger than this. Um, I just don't smell the luxury. Um, I don't smell the high quality ingredients in it. I just smell a very simple, basic, but very pretty fragrance. So there you have it, guys. There is my review on Roja Does uh, uh, Elixir Pour Femme. For those that are out there, you ladies out there curious, wanting to know if you should buy this or not, save your money, buy it in a perfume oil, and my recommendation is to get it either in the premium or Luz is what they, L-U-Z-I, or check out the A+, plus or A++ plus plus grade. Because if not, you're going to be very disappointed in this as far as the projection goes. The longevity is good on it, but it's just, in my opinion, too soft of a fragrance and too simplistic of a fragrance to be worth almost $410. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching this video. As always, if you have any questions or comments, put them down in the comment section down below. And if you're new to my channel and you're totally into perfume and just perfumery in general, definitely click on that subscribe button and check out my playlists. Bye, guys!